So the new album, All You Need Is Now. I want to know the whole process, front to end. <laughs> front and back. Wow. Yes. Have you got about three hours? Yes. Well, well I took you years, well. though. I'm just so. going to take this question. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> I'll see you a bit later. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, actually, it was about, it was like a two-year process, actually. Yeah. Uh, Mark Ronson came in to work w- with us on the album. And uh, the great thing about this record, there was no pressure. You know, we didn't have a record company. Uh, it was like being a new band again. We just had a, a little tiny room like this in London that we just turned up to every day for months and months and months and worked on the record. And uh, it was almost like a return to our roots, actually, because Mark had this vision that we should go back to the early sound, but obviously bring it up to date, up to 2011. And uh, it's really working for us. I mean, it's going down so well. We played at Coachella the other night, and uh, the new songs went down as well as the uh, the classic songs. So yeah. uh, it's really working for us. I love that you did Coachella this year. You did South by Southwest, which I think is really cool. But yeah. at Coachella, I know it was a great show because I saw Danny DeVito boogieing down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very great. funny. Yeah. It's a great video on YouTube. You have to look no, for it. It really worked for us. And the, the time slot that we went on was just incredible because it was just at sunset. The, the sky turned p- this beautiful color of purple. There was a beautiful breeze just picked up. Yeah. And everybody just came together at that moment. And it was just like a dream come true. It was, it was incredible, wasn't it? It was a yeah. great moment. I mean, we played this song, Reach Up for the Sunrise. And I, and I looked out and I could see across the field just, um, it looked like 100,000 hands in the air. There must, I mean, half the people had their hands up in the air. Right to the back of the field, it was incredible. That has to be just a trip when you play any big event, and that is a huge event. But yeah. seeing all these people cheering for you <clears throat> and getting that into your music, and then when you do smaller plays, it's got to be a completely different vibe, which is, which is better. Are well, they both just different? I, the ones that are really exciting, the shows that are really exciting, tend to be the really small ones and the really big ones. It's, it's the middle stuff that, 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 I don't know, actually. I mean, we've had some great shows in, in the medium-sized arenas and, and, and some of the sheds outdoors as well. You know, we, we, every time we go on stage, it's the most important moment of our lives. It's kind of what the album's about, actually, that whole thing about all you need is now. It's very much about, you know, making this bit count, not waiting for the bit that's going to come or thinking about the bit that's just been. It's about making this bit work. And um, on, on stage, is a very, very, it's a very... Um, very immediate sense of the reality of that you get because you've got to, you've just got to turn the kids on to the utmost at that moment, and and it works. So every show is the most important one for us. Do you ever find yourself looking out in the audience, just like what happened with Danny DeVito, and seeing a celebrity just completely throwing down and going crazy and going, "Oh my God, that's you know, that's so and so." Well, we didn't, we couldn't see Danny because he's not very tall. See, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's kind of masked by taller people. <laughs> I've seen Donald Trump in the audience once. Was he, was he whipping his head back? Yeah, and I could just see his hair <laughs> kind of going. He's, a, he's, a, he's that, he's that he's guy. Unmistakable. Sorry, he's that guy from that song, isn't he? I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> I thought, no, it can't be. It can't be. Then I came off and everybody said, yeah, it was. And it was just, you could recognize the hair. But it does happen, you know. Did anyone else? My beard. Roger, you're going to challenge An inspirational him? beard. Uh, yeah. is it? <laughs> yes, my, yes, it is actually. My wife's trying to grow one now. <laughs> She's Persian. It's not too difficult. 